Hello and welcome to another video. This is going to be a slightly different video than what you're normally used to on my channel. Uh, but this uh, new set, this new series, I guess, of videos is uh, aimed towards uh, people, uh, preferably uh, parents whose kids are out of school due to the lockdown and the quarantine. Uh, and you got to keep your kids busy learning, even even when school's out. You're the parent. Your prime responsibility as a parent is to ensure that your kid is always growing and learning. That is not left on the teachers as much as parents nowadays like to make sure that teachers are doing all the all of that. No, it still falls on you as a parent. So instead of just having your kids watch TV or play video games, uh, have them learn something. So. In this series, we're going to talk about two applications that you can download free of charge. You don't have to worry about buying anything. And you can, you yourself or you and your kids can learn together on the fantastic world of 3D modeling. Uh, there's a lot of math and science behind it all. It's not just something that artists uh, do and just mindlessly do. There's a, there's a lot that goes into it. So I'd like to start off with the two uh, programs that I would recommend to start out with. One is Blender. It's free to download. Uh, it has a little bit of a steep learning curve, especially for kids, but they recently redesigned it so it's a little bit easier to understand. There's not as many sub menus to go through and uh, it's a little bit easier to pick up. So I believe the learning curve went down mostly just based on the user interface changes alone. Uh, it's free to download. Uh, 2.82a is the most uh, uh, up-to-date version. It comes with everything you need, so you can model, you can animate, you can render, and it includes its own GPU renderer as well as a CPU renderer. And then another one is Quad Spinner uh, Gaia, which uh, is free for a community version. You are limited to certain things, uh, like this resolution here, and uh, other videos I have talk about what these are, uh, but we'll we'll hit on those during this new series anyways. But you can download the free version, and it's really good the way uh, it is there. Uh, it's limited to 1024, which is just fine for learning. You don't have to worry about higher uh, resolutions. As a matter of fact, higher resolutions just mean uh, more processing power your computer needs, and not everybody has a workstation that they can work on. Uh, and speaking of computer performances, um, <clears throat> I would think, uh, at least I would say, in my own opinion, anything that was made within the last decade can run these two programs. Granted, stronger computers are going to run them faster and more efficiently, but anything that was made since maybe 2010 um, or newer will be fine, as long as it has its own graphics card, like a dedicated graphics card, um, and a at least a quad-core CPU, which most computers, even laptops nowadays, will have. So you can download both of these programs for free and that'll get you started. And then in the rest of the series, we're going to talk about how these geological shapes are made and how we use effects to create the, the features we want. And it actually goes in depth in earth sciences. We have to understand the size and scale of our scene in our mountain. We have to understand how erosion is going to impact certain areas of our landscape and all that fun stuff. Um, and there's a whole bunch of different types of erosion that we can get into that simulate real world uh, erosion, which is nice for keeping up on earth sciences. There's some math involved as well, uh, but we're going to try to make it the least amount, <laughs> uh, at least not as boring as what you'd get in a classroom. So uh, have, you can follow along, have your kids follow along. These will be free videos. Everything I put on YouTube is free and uh, we'll just get started.